So one big positive for the Boston Celtics has been how good Jalen Brown has looked this season. He's getting closer and closer and closer to climbing up into the top 25, 20 players in the league. He's just dominating on both sides of the ball and it's just super encouraging. So that got me thinking, the Celtics need to win a championship. Like obviously in real life, they're still very young and they are in no rush to do so. But I wanna put them in 2K. I wanna try and win a championship with them. But I also want to see if they can go undefeated because I've had good luck with the Celtics before in 82 and 0 challenges. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do today is try and win 82 games in a season. But before we get in the video, as always, hit that subscribe button. Um, yeah, 2,000 subscribers. When we hit that, there's a $50 gift card giveaway. I've been saying it. It's either PlayStation Store, Xbox Store, NBA Store, whatever the winner chooses. So hit that subscribe button. We're like 20 to 25 subscribers away. I don't know the exact number. Do your part, hit it. Also like this video so we get this video out to a bunch of people. Guys, I appreciate all the support. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's get into the video. All right, so we're here in 2K and what we gotta do is we're gonna make some trades. And the first person we're going to trade is Kemba Walker. One, because he makes $34 million and we could probably get a stud player for him. So I'm gonna see what two first can get us for Kemba Walker. Kemba Walker, if you guys have been a fan of the channel, you know Kemba Walker is one of my favorite players in the league. But I don't think he's perfect for this team and I think we could do better. Paul George, that is such an interesting trade. That is such an interesting trade. We could probably get Paul George and just flip him. But could I do it without giving up this first? No, I'd have to give up Daniel Tice, bring back Zubak, give up Carson Edwards. Um, let's do this. I'll give you Carson Edwards. They don't want to do that. They want Tice and Zubak. Okay, what if I instead gave you like my second round pick this year? They don't want that. They still want the 2020. Wow. And Nicholas Batum. I'm not going to do that. I will give you this second as well. Okay, so let's take those seconds out. I will give you, instead, I'll give you the 2025 first. Peyton Pritchard. I really like Pritchard, but he's probably not going to help us a ton this season, so we're going to make this trade. It's kind of full of a bunch of stuff there, but we are going to make that trade, and let's go take a peek at the roster now. Um, obviously, Jalen Brown, Paul George, and Marcus Smart all play the shooting guard position, but if I put uh, Paul George at the small forward, he is a 90 overall. And if I go to the coaching game plan, we got Beverly as a point guard. We need to get a better point guard. These three, that's a stud trio that is just going to be literally almost unstoppable. And they're all good defenders and good offensive players. That's exactly what we need. So now we just need to find a good center. A Daniel Tite. They got okay centers. We need a stud center. Who is that stud center? And what can we do to get one? Because uh, we don't have a ton of of money to throw out there to get one. I mean, we could throw Patrick Beverly maybe and Tristan Thompson and then a first. Maybe that does get us something nice. Can we find a cool center? We could get Hassan Whiteside and Buddy Heald. I don't really need Buddy Heald. And Hassan Whiteside's kind of like, eh. Clint Capella, that would be cool. We'd also bring in Chris Dunn. Hassan Whiteside, he's 31 years old. He's not gonna get better probably. We could get Mitchell Robinson. Um, which isn't bad. Also, Alfred Payton would come in. But Clint Capella and Chris Dunn is a cool idea as well. I think we're going to do that because Capella has more... Um, what do I want to say? He has a bigger contract, so if we need to trade him down the line, we can actually get something a little bit better for him. Um, so we need a point guard now. Chris Dunn's not going to cut it. Let's go see who we can get for a point guard. So, who has money? We could trade Marcus Smart. I know Celtics fans... Probably wouldn't like that. I think that he's a pretty big fan favorite in Boston. But I, I gotta do what I gotta do. Oh, we have like Neesmith. Does he have trade value now or should I wait a year? Because I don't need to do 82 no in one year. I have three years to do it. I have three years to do it. So maybe I need to send him to the G League and see if he gets good and then kind of go from there. That might be the move with him. Let's go to the roster quick. I haven't done um, anything with the G League in PS5. I hope it's the same as PS4. I hope. Um, Nesmith, 
Signed to the main red clause. Okay, we did that. And Romeo Langford, let's do the same. Perfect. So they are down there. Um, let's try to trade away. I'm going to try and trade away Marcus Smart. We'll see what we can get for him. If we can get a good point guard, we'll do it. But it's got to be a dang good point guard for me to make this trade. Derrick Rose is not good enough. I'm not giving up two first round picks to get Derrick Rose. Yep, we don't have a good enough trade. Okay, um, who else could we trade away? Chris Dunn, we don't really need him. If we could find, let me go back. If I throw in our two second round picks, if we could find somebody decent for Chris Dunn for this season, I'll do that. Um, because Chris Dunn's not great. See, now this is a Derrick Rose trade I would take. How is that anywhere near the same value as the last one? To get Derrick Rose before, it was going to cost me Marcus Smart and two firsts. Now it's going to cost me Chris Dunn and three seconds. Yeah, okay, so we got Derrick Rose. He's going to be our um, point guard to start out the season at least. So let's go take this. The starting lineup is done for this year. I'm probably going to make trades down the line. The bench isn't bad. I'm going to probably put Robert Williams or Daniel Tice at the power forward. Um, probably Williams, I'm guessing. They're both 6'8". Wow, they are shorter than I thought they were. They are definitely a lot smaller than I thought they were. But anyways, this is the team. We're going to run a 10-man rotation. Okay, we got it there. Um, this is it for this year. We're going to see. We're going to see how things work out. But this could be a really good team. This could be a really good team. Um, so I just want to go and check our system quick. Defense is four stars. Um, so is balanced. Defense isn't good for Derrick Rose, but it's better for Clint Capella. I think I'm going to go with this one. We're going to go with balance. I'm going to simulate season number one. Hopefully this team is good. Um, I don't think we're going to get close to 82 wins in this year, but we're building for the future, and I think it's going to be pretty dang good. All right, so I don't know how many wins we got because I didn't look, but you guys can't really see it in the top right. We are second in the conference, so obviously we didn't go 82-0 unless somebody else went 82-0 as well, which I'm guessing did not happen. But we had a good year, and we still got two more. So let's take a peek at all these awards, see if there's any Celtics anywhere. Doc Rivers wins Coach of the Year. He's not the Celtics coach anymore, um, but I'm guessing they must have got the first seed. So we obviously had less than 63 wins. Um, but let's take a peek, see if there's anybody on any all NBA teams and there is not. Okay. Defensively. Oh, excuse me. Defensively. We do not have anyone. All right. So we're getting snubbed everywhere. We are the two seed. We won 59 games. That's fine. Uh, we need to do better, but that's fine for now. Let's take a peek at the player stats for this year. We got Paul George with 22, Jason Tatum with 21. Derrick Rose was 16. Jalen Brown was 16. All right. And there's the rest of them. So I feel pretty good about this team being able to get 70 plus wins. Um, we had almost 60 already and everybody's going to keep getting better. But I think I'm going to trade Paul George this year. I want to be able to slide Jason Tatum down to the three and then find a better four. But let's just see how we do in the playoffs just for fun. Uh, it doesn't really matter for this challenge at all. But if we win a championship, that would be huge. We do win a championship. Paul George wins finals MVP. Fresh off of finals MVP, he's probably going to have some trade value. Um, but we do not have a draft pick, so let's go to staff signing. Assistant GM, we're going to try and bring in Michael Williams, which would help us out a ton if we can get some better trades. And then our trainer, we're going to fire, and we're going to bring in Randy Martin. All right, so we got Michael Williams and Randy Martin. All right, so I feel pretty good about that. Let's go to rookie signing since we didn't have a draft pick. Um, we aren't going to have any rookies. Team player options. We're going to accept Robert Williams and Grant Williams and Romeo Langford. Okay, so qualifying offers. Well, let's see here. Front office. Let's try and trade away Paul George. And I'll throw in our 2023 first. See what's out there. Um, if I get a really good young player... Jaron Jackson Jr. would be cool, but I just wish he was a little bit better. I wish he was like closer to a 90 overall. LaMelo Ball, Gordon Hayward. I'm not bringing Gordon Hayward back. Chris Stops. Run him at the four. That would be beautiful for this team. 
or Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. Okay, now I got to think about some things because those are some good trade offers. DeAndre Ayton, Chris Paul. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I'm I'm trying to think between this trade at the power forward, he's going to be over a 90. And then, and then Jason Tatum's also going to go up to be 90-something. This one... Michael Porter Jr. is going to have to be re-signed. I think we're going to go with this trade here. I know it's only a one-for-one. One, the other one was a two-for-one. But now if we look at the roster and we go Porzingis at the four, he's a 91. Jason Tatum is a 93. All right. Where is Neesmith? Why is he a seven? Langford's a... Dude! So they go down now if they spend time in the G League? Okay, I'm never doing that again. That was an L. Wow, that was an L. Okay. Um... Free agencies here, I guess. We don't have enough money for Kawhi Leonard, obviously. Who do we have enough money for? Daniel Tice we could bring back. Um, I think we got to bring him back just because we need that money to make a trade, possibly. Um, where is Derrick Rose? Let me go find Derrick Rose. Um, how do I do that? Oh, man. This is... How do I play or find or someone now? That I do not know. Scouting? No. I have no idea how to play or find her for someone. No idea. Huh. All right, well. So let's just go to point guards. Derrick Rose is right here. We don't have enough money to sign him. We'll throw him that four-year contract with the player option. He declined our offer. Okay. Um, I don't know why he's declined the offer. I really, really, really wish we could get him back here. Okay. Wow, he does not want to come here. Okay, so we got to find somebody else then. And I don't really know what to do. George Hills, 35 years old. Tomas Sedaransky, we'll throw him a contract, I guess. Okay, he accepts that. And then... Wow, this is rough. Langston Galloway, I guess. Man, I wish we could have got Derrick Rose back. Okay, he signed somewhere else. All right, I guess it is what it is. So let's go to player progression. Let's see how everybody looks. Um, Tatum's up to a 95. Porzingis is a 91. Brown's up to an 89. Capella is an 83. So he's probably going to get traded. See if we can upgrade that center spot even more. But we need to get a point guard in here. Um, I don't know the best way to do that. Dang, why did I send Neesmith down there? That's a, that's a big loss on my part. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. All right, I will send some people to training camps. We'll get into the second season, and we'll see if we can get a little bit closer to undefeated. Okay, so this is the rotation for right now, obviously without a point guard um, in the starting lineup. So we got to figure that out. And I don't really know how what I'm going to do, but we got to do something. Uh, but first, I want to trade Capella and see if we can get a good center. So we're going to trade Capella and a first, and Neesmith, and see if we can bring in a really good starting center. Mitchell Robinson's an 83, Allen's an 83. Um, We can bring in Clay Thompson. I don't even know what position I would run Clay Thompson at. Would I run him at point guard? I don't know. He's an, he's 31 years old, so is, is he going to regress? I don't know. God, but that sounds like a cool idea. Um, Let's see what other trades there are. Let's see if we can trade Marcus Smart and a first and see if there's a point guard out there or a center. Point guard or center, and we can make it work either way. Um, Not really. Okay, so the other trade was we're going to try and trade, what was it, Capella? I'm going to do this first this time, and then we're also going to throw in Neesmith again. 
All right, so pretty much same trade offers, a little bit different, I guess. Clay Thompson, God, that just sounds... I feel like that's too good a trade to pass up. And I'm gonna throw, hold on. I thought I did it with the other first. Let's make sure this is here. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can do this, or I want to see if I take Neesmith out and I throw in both first, then what happens? Is it pretty much same trade offers? Yeah, it's pretty much the same or worse trade offers. So let's take out this pick again. We will throw in Neesmith. And we're going to get Klay Thompson. Doesn't make the most sense positionally, but you know what? It is what it is. So my thinking is, I can either run Brown at point guard, he goes down three, Clay goes down three, or I can bump, oh man. Maybe we just take Clay and trade and just flip him. Maybe that's the move. Clay Thompson in a first, maybe we flip him for something better. Ben Simmons, that would be interesting. Zach Levine's here. Um, Rudy Gobert, he could be a really good center. We could get De'Aaron and Buddy, and we could try and flip Buddy for something. That would that would work. Jamal Murray, uh, Malcolm Brogdon, Miles Turner, Brendan. We don't need a small forward. Um, Dejounte and Lamarcus, D'Angelo Russell, Clint Capella is there. Russell Westbrook, Ben Simmons, or do we do Ben Simmons, or do we do De'Aaron Fox and Buddy Heald? I think we do De'Aaron Fox and Buddy Heald, and then we try to. Flip Buddy Healed for a center somehow. A good center. Please. Miles Turner. That would be he'd be a solid center for this team. He's young. I think it would work out well. Okay, we're gonna do that. So now let's go ahead and look at the rotation quick. So we have Darren Fox who's under contract, J Jalen Brown's under contract, Tatum's under contract, Porzingis is, Turner is. Okay, so that's a good starting lineup. Bench-wise, not very good. But we have every position filled, except I need a uh, small forward and I don't need a power forward. Um, We can make something work. I want to see if there's a good trade for Marcus Smart. I don't have any assets really to attach to him. Maybe we could throw Romeo Langford. But like, what could I get for Marcus Smart? Anything that would help me. We can get Buddy Heald back. Fred Van Vliet. Clint Capella to play backup center. Center is obviously our weak spot in the, in the lineup. So maybe we do go get Clint Capella. And then... Well, let me see what the rotation looks like. Okay, so Capella's starting, actually. So we can trade Daniel Tice, try and get a backup um, shooting guard or a backup small forward. So let's go do that. Um, trade finder for Daniel Tice. Don't have anything to throw with him. I said I needed a small forward or a shooting guard. So that being said, who is the best person out there? Tim Hardaway Jr. can light it up from deep. That would be a good backup to have. We could get Marcus Smart back, which I don't actually hate that idea. I think we're going to just bring him back. I know it's kind of cheesy, um, but it is what it is. So Marcus Smart comes back, and then we need to trade one of our backup power forwards, so either Robert Williams or Grant Williams. I say we do Grant Williams. We'll throw Galloway in there with him, and we try and bring in... A, so now what do I need? A, a small forward. Or I can bring in a point guard, run him at shooting guard, and then I can move Marcus Smart to the small forward if I have to. So TJ McConnell's there. Um, it's not a lot here. We can get this pick. I don't know how much that helps us, though. Like, do we just bring in TJ McConnell and then run him at shooting guard? Or do we bring in Javon Carter and run him at shooting guard? That's what I'm going to do. So Javon Carter's coming to the team. And we're going to run him at the backup shooting guard, I think. 
He goes up to a 77. Marcus Smart goes up to an 82. All right. Let's go look at the rotation. It looks really good. This is the bench now. What happened to our backup point guard? I thought I had a backup point guard. Did I trade them? So we need a backup point guard. So Reggie Bullock is getting traded for a backup point guard. Um, just to even out the rotation. So Reggie, if there's not a good one, I'm probably just going to go down to a nine man. Um, I don't see much. Brad Wanamaker, he's not going to be good enough to play on this team. All right, we are going with the nine man rotation. I don't do that very often. For some reason, I'm always stuck in my ways. And I go with the 10 man rotation, but we're going to go nine. All right, that's the team. This is only year number two. This is only year number two, but I think I think we're gonna be pretty solid. System proficiency, uh, defense is four, balance is four. Most of them are four. Grit and grind is even four. That one seems to be the best. I think we're gonna go grit and grind. No, we're gonna go defense. That's Brad Stevens' um, ideal one. So that's what I think we're gonna go with. I'm going to simulate this season. Hopefully we win 70 games. That's the hope. Um, we're starting out pretty good. I will see you guys at the end of the season. All right, so I just got a peek. We won 67 games, so we are still 15 games away. But I think we can get over 70 next season, as long as we don't completely screw everything up this offseason. Here are the awards. Brad Steven did win Coach of the Year, if you didn't see that. Any Celtics on any All-NBA teams? Uh, first team, no. Second team, no. Third team, no. Uh, defensive first and second team, we have no one. Rookie team, no one. And yeah, I mean, we didn't have any rookies, but we are the one seed. So let's check out the stats quick before we get into um, the playoffs and then through the offseason. So this is what everything's looking like. Team's pretty dang good. I will say that. See if we can win another championship too quick while we're at it. 4-0, um, 4-1. We actually lose in the Eastern Conference Finals, and Denver wins the whole thing. Okay, so let's go into the offseason. Draft lottery. We don't have a pick. I don't know why I even went into this. Um, but let's see here. Let's just go to rookie sign, and we did, like I said, we're not going to have a rookie. Team player options. We have none. And qualifying offers. Robert Williams, Vlato Konkar. Don't really want Konkar back. Um, but in free agency, we have bird rights on... Marcus Smart, he has to come back. And Robert Williams, he has to come back as well. We got those two here. We're, get, we're renouncing rights on Reggie Bullock, Shabazz Napier, Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Don't really care about those guys at all, to be honest. All right, perfect. We got those guys back. And we actually have a little bit of money if we want to assign somebody. Like if we wanted to bring in... Patrick Beverly, I think we could do that. Or Michael Carter-Williams, Trey Burke. I think we're going to try and bring in Trey Burke. Hopefully he accepts that. And then we'll throw Jake Lame in a contract. I love Jake Lame. He's a Timberwolf. Super cool dude. Uh, super nice guy as well. Um, player progression. See how everybody looks. Everybody should be getting better. We got young guys. Uh, Tatum's a 96. Porzingis stays a 91. Jalen Brown goes up to a 90. Fox is an 89. Capella's an 84. All right, this team is good. This team is very good. The bench is only okay, but the starters are really, really good. So I'm going to send some people to training camps. We're going to make a few moves. They might be big moves, might be small moves. I don't know. But we're going to make some moves. We're going to try and get to 82-0. and We're going to try. Okay, so this is the rotation. Starting lineup, still really solid. And the bench is actually pretty solid as well. I thought it was worse than it was. But we can make a couple moves. Celtics fans... Hear me out. Don't get discouraged. I just want to see what's happening with this. I just want to see it. There's probably not going to be anything good enough to make to make a deal like this. But I just want to check. I just need to check it out. All right, there's nothing. Consider your guys self safe. Uh, Porzingis, though, he might not be safe. Who's out here? Um, not really anyone. He's a 91 overall. I don't want to trade for a lower overall. Uh, we do have one first. So could I trade Capella and a first for something? A better center, maybe? 
if there's one out there. Jared Allen's the same overall. Sabonis is there. We could put Porzingis back at the center, but eh. Um. All right, so there's not much there. Let's see if we could do anything with De'Aaron Fox. Could we get an even better point guard? We get Ben Simmons, which I don't really need Ben Simmons. Um. Rudy Gobert and Daishin Nix. Jamal Murray, he's worse overall wise. DeAndre Ayton. DeAndre Russell. All right, no, I think we're good. Um, so I'm just going to try and upgrade the bench a little bit then. So who could we trade away on the bench? So these three bench pieces are cool. See if we can get somebody better than Javon Carter. Let's just see if that's a possibility. As a backup shooting guard. Kendrick Nunn, we could put him at the shooting guard. That would, he'd be like an 80, 80 something. So I think I'm going to make that move. And... What? Okay, so if he goes there, he's a 79. All right, I think we're probably pretty much good. Yeah, I think we're good. So I am going to simulate season number three and see if we can actually go undefeated and win 82 games. It's going to be tough, but I will see you guys at the end of the season. Okay, we didn't get it. We got 78 wins, and I'll show you guys that in a second. We just got to get through all of these awards quick. Brad Stevens wins Coach of the Year, 78 and 4. You guys saw that. Um, we were good. We were really good. Jason Tatum, All NBA second team. We just weren't quite good enough. All NBA third team for De'Aaron Fox. Um, so we almost made it. We almost did. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. I'm going to check out the stats quick. Then we'll just simulate the playoffs, see if we win our second championship in this video. And then the video will be over. We did not accomplish it, but I feel really good about this. This was the first 82-0 challenge on Next Gen, and we almost got it. So I, we could, I'm tasting it. We could possibly get it later on. But here are all the awards. We were really good. Garrett Payne the second on the team. 0.8. Wow, all right. Um, anyways, simulate the playoffs. See if we win ourselves a championship. Uh, we 4-0. 4-1, 4-0, We do win. Darren Fox this time gets a finals MVP. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Smash that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. I really do appreciate that. Let's get that giveaway done ASAP. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers, and then we'll start the row to 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. You guys know the drill. But anyways, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it, and peace out.